I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. Hugh Jackman says he's excited to host the Tony Awards for the third time, but fans of his stage work won't have to wait long to see the Tony winner star back on stage again. Jackman says he's doing the play The River later this year and looking forward to treading the boards here on Broadway. But before that, it is the Tony Awards on June 8th, something he calls like the Olympics for an athlete or the Super Bowl for a football player. This will be his third time hosting. The 45-year-old star is promoting his latest film, X-Men Days of Future Past. He says he's already started Tony rehearsals, but doubts his character Wolverine will show up. Says Jackman, I'm not sure Fox will be thrilled if Wolverine came out singing and dancing. Lee Marshall, one of the actors who supplied the booming voice of Tony the Tiger in commercials, has died. He was 64. Marshall died of esophageal cancer on April 26th at a Santa Monica hospital. Marshall began voicing the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes mascot in 1999, filling in for the original actor Thurl Ravenscroft. Marshall got his first full-time radio job at the age of 14 in Phoenix. He had a prematurely deep voice and lied about his age. His career included radio newsman, rock and roll disc jockey, sports broadcaster, and wrestling ring interviewer. ABC's Lara Spencer is apologizing for referring to Cinco de Mayo as Cinco de Drinco on Good Morning America this week. The anchor wore then twirled a sombrero and mentioned that the holiday was the biggest day of the year for margarita sales. She held what appeared to be a margarita. She tweeted a day later that she got a little carried away and was sorry for the segment. MSNBC's Way Too Early show similarly apologized for this week for showing a staff member shaking maracas and taking a swig from what was said to be a tequila bottle. The holiday actually marks an 1862 battle victory by Mexican troops. There's a simple reason why Jessica Alba won't do nude scenes in case you were wondering. She tells Glamour magazine, I don't want my grandparents to see my boobs. She says that would make it weird at Christmas and all. Besides, she says she's getting na naked would not have made her movies any better. Well, I don't know about that. In local entertainment news, my husband Joe Vayette and some of the wonderful musicians that perform with him will be performing tonight at Catskill Mountain Pizza in Woodstock. It is free. It is fun. Catskill Mountain Pizza is on Mill Hill Road in Woodstock, and it starts at 8.30 p.m. That's your latest entertainment report. I'm Kimberly Kay.